Tales of Zestiria the Cross begins by showing Alicia Difta, the royal princess of the Highland Kingdom. She is trying to investigate unusual weather that damaged the crops and even affected people's health. While almost everyone in her kingdom has fallen into despair over the calamity they have experienced over the past few years, Alicia never loses hope. She firmly believes that one day, the Savior, the Shepherd, will appear to save humanity and the entire world from catastrophe. Therefore, Alicia and her attendants never give up on finding the Shepherd, who is destined to become the world's savior after successfully pulling the sacred blade of the Lady of the Lake embedded in the royal palace. One day, Alicia was surprised by the appearance of an ominous mist in Guriel City and immediately rushed there with her attendants. Arriving there, she witnessed a strange and dangerous natural phenomenon, which instantly destroyed the city and panicked everyone there. One by one, the people Alicia and her attendants met at Guriel are swallowed up by the tornado, leaving her all alone. She then faced a giant fire dragon who was the mastermind. Knowing that she would not be able to fight the giant fire dragon alone, Alicia rushed to escape, and ended up arriving at the ancient ruins and finding a mural depicting the shepherd, who would save the world from calamity. Shortly afterward, she is attacked by a huge swarm of insects. Alicia barely gets away alive, and as though guided by the crest of the shepherd, she eventually arrives in the celestial capital. On the other hand, a young man named Sore wants to explore ancient ruins with his best friend, Miklio, who is a seraph. The seraphs or seraphim are the divine race that used to coexist with humans. However, over time, humans began to forget the existence of the seraphs, so they decided to separate themselves from human life. Nowadays, only certain people can see the whereabouts of the seraphs, one of which is Sore. While exploring the ancient ruins deeper, Sore and Miklio accidentally find Alicia lying unconscious. Sore, who was soft-hearted, could not bear to see her, who was very tired, so he decided to take her to Elysium, the celestial capital home to the Seraphim and where he lives. He intended to introduce her to the Seraphs who lived there, but because Alicia was only human, she couldn't see the Seraphs around her. However, she begs the Seraphs to help her save her kingdom, which is being hit by a disaster. However, the Seraphs refused her request because they thought humans would only bring disaster to their land. In fact, they had denied her presence before Sore finally convinced the Seraphs that she had no ill intentions. After staying a few days in Elysium, Alicia decided to return to her kingdom. Before leaving, she suggested that Sore visit the Sacred Blade Festival, which would soon be held in her kingdom, and anyone could come there. Shortly after her departure, a mysterious fox-like Hellion male assassin named Lunari appears in Elysium and attacks Sore. Not just standing still, Sore then tried to deal with the man's attack, but he was quite overwhelmed because the man turned out to be a demon. Sore's grandfather, Zenris, then arrived there and finally managed to get rid of the demonic figure from their territory. Realizing that the demonic figure might intend to kill Alicia, Sore decided to go to the Highland Kingdom to warn her. Accompanied by Miklio, Sore left Elysium for the first time and visited Leda Lake, the capital city of Highland Kingdom. Upon arriving in the capital and seeing the human world for the first time, he cannot hide his amazement at the people and scenery, but the capital is teeming with malevolence which causes Miklio to grow physically weak. Elsewhere, the chief of the Leda Lake City Council, a man named Bartlow, intends to eliminate Alicia by dispatching several assassins. He intends to take power and seize her as a major threat to his plans. Meanwhile, after none are chosen by the Sacred Blade or by Layla, the Lady of the Lake, Alicia elected to give a speech on the necessity of peace with Rollins and on the avoidance of war. This greatly angered the silent crowd. Their anger and fear of invasion manifested in the form of malevolence, dark magic associated with Hellions, which was drawn out from the ruins under the city where it was concentrated. Malevolence then formed into a giant, flying dragon-like monster called Hellion, which attacked the crowd in the Altar of the Stone. The Hellion could not attack the Sacred Blade due to a magical barrier, but its flames blocked the exit, trapping everyone inside the church. On the other hand, Bartlow's assassin sprung into action and attacked Alicia with a fighting knife. Upon seeing that, Sore rushes to take the Sacred Blade to fight the beast. He draws the sword from the stone and is pronounced the shepherd by Layla. He then merges with Layla, developing immense power, combat proficiency, and flight, allowing him to easily destroy the Hellion. After becoming the shepherd, Sore obtains the power of purification, which reverts Hellions into their original form, donning the legendary shepherd's attire given to him by Alicia. Sore goes into town. The streets are lined with banners bearing shepherd's crest, and he realizes how much hope the people place on the shepherd. Later, he becomes the vessel of the Lady of the Lake and gains the ability to perceive malevolence. On the other hand, Alicia was happy that Sore was willing to act as an intermediary between her and the Seraphs, which would make it easier for her to communicate with them, so it was possible to establish cooperation between them. 
While she is attending a meeting with royal dignitaries, Sore chooses to take a walk through the city with Miklio and Layla, where they discover a mysterious underground chamber. Sore can feel malevolence, which is extraordinary because there is a torture chamber that has always been hidden by royal officials, so Alicia never knew about the existence of the torture chamber. The room suddenly collapsed shortly after, so Sore and his companions rushed to escape from there. When they finally came out of the place, they were surprised by the appearance of malevolence, who took the form of a giant dragon. Elsewhere, in a maximum security prison, there is a young girl named Velvet, who has the power to consume demons and absorb their souls and is one of the prisoners there. Not long after, a woman named Ceres arrives there to free Velvet and help her take revenge on Artorius Callbrand, the supreme leader of the Abbey, an organization of the exorcists, who has killed her brother, Laphacet, and intends to sacrifice him as a reason to save the world. When Velvet and Ceres were about to get out of prison, they were intercepted by a young man named Rokuro, who also wanted to get out of there. Because Velvet is willing to release him from prison, he feels he owes her his life and decides to help her get her revenge. However, when Velvet, Ceres, and Rokuro were about to leave the island, they were intercepted by Artorius Colbrand's men, led by a young man named Oscar Dragonia. A fierce battle between them was inevitable, but then, a Hellion Dragon suddenly appears there and attacks them so they two must work together to defeat the Hellion Dragon. However, they seemed overwhelmed by the dragon, especially after Ceres was seriously injured. Towards her death, Ceres then asks Velvet to devour her so that she would get additional power to avenge the dragon. After devouring Ceres and gaining her power, Velvet became ten times stronger so that she was able to defeat the Hellion Dragon, along with Artorius Colbrand's men. After that, Velvet went on a journey with Rokuro. Elsewhere, the Hellion Dragon that appeared in front of Sore and his companions suddenly disappeared. Realizing that he is not strong enough to help and protect him, Miklio goes to the Galahad Ruins, searching for the legendary divine artifact that can suppress evil spirits. Meanwhile, Sore escorted Alicia, who was about to head to Marlin City, to bring food supplies and medicine for the residents. After helping Alicia defeat the Hellion Dragon that was blocking their way, Sore decided to part ways with her and rush to Rayfalk's spirit crest, which appears in Dragon Folklore with Layla. Arriving there, they accidentally met a young seraph named Edna who was being attacked by malevolence, who took the form of a monster. While battling the monster, another seraph named Zavid appeared, who could easily kill the monster. Sore was annoyed at his actions because he had originally intended to purify the monster without having to kill it. Not long after, Sore and the others were surprised by the appearance of a giant black dragon that was about to attack them. Edna then told him that the black dragon was her older brother, Aizen who turned into a dragon after devouring the Lord of Calamity, saving the world from disaster. Sore and his companions seemed overwhelmed by the giant black dragon. He could not purify the dragon even with Shepard's power at his disposal. On the other hand, Zavid, who helped fight the dragon, tried to lure the black dragon into staying away from Edna because he wanted to fulfill his promise to Aizen that he would kill Aizen if he became a dragon so that Edna would not have to suffer. Then, Sore continues his journey and reveals to Edna that he is going to Rollins which is rumored to have many ancient ruins where dragons were deified as gods. Sore's genuine faith in the writings and the celestial records exasperates Edna, but she chooses to tag along. Elsewhere, Alicia and her attendants, who were about to head to Marlin City, faced bad weather, so they had to find another way because the connecting bridge to the village had been damaged by a flash flood. However, they were caught in a storm caused by a hellion dragon. They couldn't help but fight the dragon, even with minimal strength. Not long after, Sore arrived and immediately combined his power with Edna to fight the Hellion Dragon. But then, a younger Hellion Dragon appeared and fought the previous dragon. The younger dragon won the battle and finally managed to escape from there when Sore was about to purify it. Afterward, Sore reunites with Miklio, who has acquired a divine artifact in the form of a bow, and gets acquainted with Adok, a Norman Seraph who was saved by Miklio and chose to go with him. They then decided to accompany Alicia to Marlin City to help the residents who were being hit by a disease outbreak. Arriving there, Sore and his companions were very surprised to learn that the village had been infected with malevolence which caused the villagers to be stricken with a strange disease that was difficult to cure. Alicia looked so sad and devastated to see the suffering experienced by the villagers. However, she did not know what to do to eliminate the calamity. Soon after, the younger Hellion Dragon reappeared and was about to attack the village. This time, Sore is more prepared to face the dragon's attack and manages to combine his powers with Miklio, who has obtained a new weapon. In a short time, Sore finally succeeded in purifying the younger Hellion dragon, which was none other than Rohan, the male seraph who protected the Marland region and its surroundings. He then thanks Sore for saving him by freeing him from malevolence. 
After overcoming the problems in Marlin City, Sore and his companions prepared to return to Leda Lake. However, Adok stays behind in Marlin to help Rohan fix things. Before leaving, Alicia ordered her troops to supply food supplies to Marlin City. She also got help from a group of traders led by a woman named Rose, who was willing to distribute food supplies to all the villagers. Arriving at Leda Lake, Alicia is shocked by the news that Bartlow is preparing to start a war with the Rollins Kingdom. Upon learning that, Alicia and Sore head for Glavin Basin at the border of Highland and Rollins, where Bartlow attempts to incite a war. While Sore is trying to purify someone infected by malevolence, Alicia is confronted by a group of assassins who threaten to kill her if she insists on preventing the war. However, she doesn't care and is determined to stop the war, even if she has to sacrifice her own life. Hearing this, the leader of the assassins group was impressed with Alicia and gave up his intention to kill her. He also reveals his true identity, which is none other than Rose, who disguises herself as a merchant to help her in Marlin City. Long story short, Alicia and Sore then headed to the battlefield to stop the war with the royal troops' full support and Rose and her gang. He warns Alicia that if war has begun, he will side with neither Highland nor Rollins. But as the shepherd, he wants to stop the fighting. Sore and his companions reach Glavend, only to find a battlefield teeming with malevolence. Alicia sets out to convince Highland's general Londone to stop the fighting, but he doesn't heed her order. Londone even threatened to kill her if she insisted on stopping him. However, Alicia bravely challenges Londone because she still holds fast to her belief that world peace can be realized without having to go through war. Rose tried to help Alicia but refused because she did not want bloodshed there. However, it caused her to be stabbed in the back by a soldier from her kingdom. Not long after, a male seraph named Dezel arrives and saves them both from being attacked by Londone's troops. Rose, who could no longer contain her anger, then killed them all, taking Londone hostage. Meanwhile, an immense mass of malevolence appears before Sore and company on the main battlefield. It is none other than Heldolf, the Lord of Calamity. Sore sees the real Heldolf in the center of malevolence and declares that he will purify him. Even as countless hellions summoned by Heldolf charge at him, Sore has faith in his power and the power of his friends and continues to fight. However, he didn't seem to have enough strength to defeat the Lord of Calamity. Before leaving, Haldolf told him that they would meet again someday, and he hoped that Sore would be more prepared to become a worthy opponent for him. After that, Sore met the injured Alicia and tried to heal her. He said he needed a partner to help him fight against the Lord of Calamity and bring about world peace. He also asked her to be his partner, which she accepted. After making a contract with Sore, Alicia can also see the Seraphs who have been helping their struggle to defeat malevolences and also bring peace to mankind. On the way back to Leda Lake, Alicia and the others meet Londone, who has turned into Hellion after being possessed by malevolence. Sore manages to purify Londone and hand him over to Alicia for trial. After that, Sore decided to go to Rollins with the Seraphs to increase his strength and knowledge so he could defeat the Lord of Calamity. The anime ends. The moral lesson from this anime is not to pollute our hearts with envy, pride, selfishness, greed, and so on, because in the end, these bad qualities will only bring misery to our lives, or even can make us like monsters that can threaten the safety of those closest to us.